Let's see what we got. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to recalibrate, rebalance, and test the high voltage battery in your Tesla. Now, this car I bought has almost 70,000 miles and I bought it salvage from the auction um, and the battery was, the high voltage battery was dead. It was flat at 0% charge for four to six months. So I'm hoping not too much battery degradation happened or damage. So we're gonna, today I'm gonna show you how to, a process that you can do to your Tesla that will um, rebalance the cells and the modules in the high voltage battery pack and it's gonna recalibrate your mileage and you may actually gain some uh, um, range when you do this. Like um, I've seen videos of Teslas in the past where Tesla owners would completely discharge the battery and recharge it up and it would recalibrate and then um, you, they would gain some range. Some of them gained 16 miles on a full charge um, so because of the recalibration and the rebalancing that happens during this process. Now, Tesla has automated this procedure so you don't have to do it manually, discharge and risk making your low voltage system go, go dead um, and then you would have to jump it. So, so it's awesome. Tesla automated this process so it will do it for you. Um, let me show you how to do it and I'm gonna show you all the phases that it goes through. And then eventually I'll show you the results for my 70,000 mile 2022 Tesla Model 3 long range that was actually sitting dead flat on at the auction lot for like four to six months. So let's get into it. Okay, so now let's take a look at the mileage in this car. Okay, now you can see the car has 66,000 miles on it. Now Tesla has moved the battery test from the service menu that you have to go into through software up here to the service tab under the main menu the regular driving menu now you would go down and you would go to battery test you click on that now here it gives you a general overview and a little bit of description you can pause the screen and read that uh, but here's the deal so it tells you your battery is healthy but to perform an actual thorough battery test through the tesla software you're gonna have to hit battery health test and here it tells you what you need to to be at before you start. So before you begin, it tells you the vehicle needs to be at park. The, the, the charge needs to be at 20%, as you can see. I'm at 9%. The vehicle is connected to internet, which it is. No software updates are scheduled. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that um, updated here shortly, and then we can start the battery test. And then no battery or thermal alerts are active. Vehicle connected to an AC charger. The AC charger has to be at least five kilowatt of power. Now I'm going to plug in the charger, which is going to turn both of these green, and then I'll get the car updated. I'm not going to let it charge. I'm just going to get it plugged in. And then, yeah, this tells you here that you can uh, start the battery test. Now here's the thing. The battery test will discharge the car to 0%. It's going to use um, the accessories to discharge it, like the AC, uh, to discharge it down to nine to 0%. Uh, like as you can see now it's at nine percent and that's why it wants it to be less than 20 percent so that doesn't take too long so when you park it the closer you are to zero the better um now it's going to discharge it to zero percent and then it's going to charge it to a hundred percent um over the next 15 hours or so so the whole test is going to take anywhere from 17 hours to 20 hours depending on the charge status when you start and how fast the car is going to charge it now while it's charging it it's gonna um, try its best to balance the cells, the, the modules and the cells, the individual cells inside the battery when it's charging it to, to, to make the voltage balanced as much as it can be uh, during this. So I'd actually recommend doing this every once in a while. I mean, it's not a, a routine thing, but I just got this car, it has 66,000 miles. I, I don't know the exact history of the vehicle. I know it was at the auction, it sat for a while, the battery was flat for a little bit. So I'm gonna do this for multiple reasons. I wanna know how good my battery is and I wanna get the, the, the software to balance the cells and the modules as best as it can. Um, so right now I'm gonna get this ready. I'm gonna get the software updated. I'm gonna plug in the charger and we're gonna get this test uh, started. Okay, let's get it plugged in. All right, now I'm not gonna let it charge. Uh, now it's gonna start charging, but I'm gonna go here to the screen and I'm gonna prevent it from charging. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna say stop charging. Okay, now that we have all the requirements checked off and green, so I think we are ready to hit start test. 
Okay, well it already started test, so it says battery is discharging, now we're at 8%. It's gonna get loud because it's gonna use all the excess. Vehicle battery is discharging to zero to 10%. Noise and heat generation are expected. Climate control systems are temporarily disabled. Do not leave occupants unattended. Ensure charger remains connected to avoid interacting with the vehicles um, or the test lab. Okay, so now um, it's gonna be, it's gonna take a, a very long time. We're gonna keep checking on it. I'll keep taking notes and I'll let you guys know once it's done. Okay, so the car is currently um, very loud. The fans are going full speed. It's discharging the high voltage battery. The app says it's at 2%. So it should be um, getting close to done here. Now I have set up a fan because it's turning the garage really, really hot. So be careful not to do this inside your garage. If you do, keep it open, vent ventilated, and turn some fans on just to keep it cool. Uh, so I'll let it discharge and then it's gonna start charging and doing the battery test. Okay, so I just got a notification on the app that the battery test co is completed. Um, I'm very excited to see the results. Now, keep in mind, this car has 70,000 miles, almost, and it was at the auction with the battery sitting flat, dead, for at least four to six months. So very exciting to see the results. Let's check it out, see what we got. Okay, I'm really hoping anything in the 80s, I think, will we'll do, so let's... Let's see what we got. All right. Okay. Service. And battery health. Oh, there we go. 82%. Tested 9, 20, 20, 25. That your battery is healthy. That is fantastic considering the car, like we said, has almost 70,000 miles and sat flat at the auction for a few months at least. Uh, let's see what kind of range we got. So this is the 2022 long range dual motor and it says 295 miles. Wow, this is actually fantastic because brand new from, from 2022 with zero miles, uh, this car has I think 330 miles. So 295 is fantastic. I'll take it all day. Now the car has 100% charge um, so I'm going to go drive it right away and, uh, and, uh, get it down to like 80 or 70. Uh, now here's the thing. I just want to say this test is not only a test. It does recalibrate the battery and it does rebalance the cells and the, and the modules in the, in the high voltage battery pack. So this is good to do actually every, uh, year or so. There's no recommendations on to do this in a routine manner, but I think it's, it's good if you, if your battery, um, if you've had it for a while and, and every once, once a year or something. Actually, I've heard of Tesla owners before this test um, doing like a complete discharge and a complete charge to 100% um, just to get the battery to recalibrate. So this is this is very good, actually. I'm happy I, I, I've done this. Now I know it's at 82%, 295 miles. Super happy with it. And I think it did rebalance and recalibrate the battery. So it should be good to go. I'm going to leave it for a year, just drive it. Um, so yeah. 70,000 miles, it sat flat at the auction. Uh, the battery was dead for like four to six months, I'm not sure, but um, definitely super happy with it. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, if it is, uh, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.